Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a pixelated text effect using Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of obsessed with this pixelated look and this pixelated effect uh, for quite a while. As you can tell, a couple of my last tutorials have been using the same look. But I kept messing around with it and I came up with this look and I thought it was really cool and it literally took me like two seconds to do. Well, not two seconds, but it, it was done pretty fast. So I thought I should make another tutorial using this effect so I could teach you guys how to do this. And then after, uh, hopefully my session with this effect will leave and we will be able to move on. So let's get started. Let's click on File, New. And we're going to make a new image with a width of 1920 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels. And press OK. The first thing we're going to do is select black and select the paint bucket tool and just fill that in with black. Now we're going to select white and select the text tool and we're going to type in octotoots.com. Now I'm using the font disco deck. You don't have to use that font. I just thought that the font looks really cool and it goes really well with this effect. So if you do want to use that font, I'll provide the link for it uh, in the video description below. So we're going to click on the pointer tool and then click command T or control T if you're on windows. We're going to select one of the corners, hold shift, and then just make this a lot bigger. And that looks good. I'm going to center this really quick. Right about there and press OK or press enter. Now what we want to do is duplicate this layer. So let's right click on the layer and click on duplicate layer and press OK. Now we have octotoots.com and octotoots.com copy in the layers panel. We want to click and drag the copy below the original octotoots.com layer. Now for the copy with that layer selected, we're going to click command T again or control T if you're on windows. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger than the original octotoots.com text. And then we're going to center it behind the original octotoots.com. And that looks pretty good. So let's press enter to that. And now what we want to do is click on filter, pixelate, mosaic. And just press OK to rasterize the layer. And we want our cell size to be about 20 squares and press OK. And now this look is almost done. We're going to double click on the copy layer and we're going to go to gradient overlay. And we want our gradient to be a spectrum gradient, which is pretty much a rainbow. So let's click on, let's see, this one looks good and we want to press OK. Now before I press OK, if you guys don't have your spectrum gradient open, then just click on this little arrow and select spectrums and Photoshop has these spectrums already pre-installed. So let's press OK to that and then we want our angle to be uh, 0% and that's pretty much it. So let's press OK. Now what you could do is you could leave it. Uh, bright like that but what I did in this one is I uh, brought down the opacity a little bit maybe about let's see 60% looks good and then what I also did is on the original layer I brought down to opac the opacity to about 90% and that's pretty much it we're done with this effect it was really that quick and that fast and it looks really cool so that's it for this video tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it until next time I will see you guys later